Yeah. So um I'm my mother. empress. Mm. I'm a mother now. Mm-hmm. And um I, you know what? I knew I want to raise my child mm-hmm. single-handedly and I didn't want to mix it with business because our business by the way, you, you don't have time to be home all the time because yeah. you're always on site. Lori me me fanya sijuini wapi you need to go. So two years in and now the age, you know once you're independent, eh? the urge just starts trickling in you're like listen <laughs> okay now i need to do something with my life yeah and i just went back to my first love which was acting mm-hmm. i remember going for auditions for my impress and um for me it was do i want this do i not do i want mm-hmm. this do i not mm-hmm. but i just decided let me just because my husband was like okay since now with business we have to pick up from where we left off and where we need a lot of capital yeah just do what you want to do and I was like let me just go and do acting because I mean I'm really passionate about it so I went to an audition for my empress it was beautiful I auditioned for the role Tasha by the way ah yes <laughs> I was not to be crystal no I auditioned for Tasha mm-hmm. then when we end signing in our contracts are like listen mm-hmm. we think you can be so good for crystal yeah, yeah. we saw so much divaness in you mm-hmm. on your audition on your audition tape and Tasha is nowhere you know, <laughs> such a a geek she no you can't be that so that's like i landed my role as crystal on my impress mm, nice <laughs> let's talk about now this this particular role mm-hmm. uh you have played a lot of slay queen roles mm. from mm. tabasamu mm. to crystal on tasha and now mm. the big billboard everywhere <laughs> <laughs> Single Kiasi. Single Kiasi. Oh, I love this project. I love Do it. Do you think mm-hmm. being typecasted as a um, slay queen is it uh, helping your career or is it sabotaging it? Mm. I don't think I have an answer to that because um hmm, well yes, being typecast is very dangerous at some point because you don't get to explore your at your artistic side because you're just going to play a slay queen forever it's not so good okay. that's like okay. being on a safe zone mm-hmm. um but do i mind it no i don't mm-hmm. right yeah. because i say this mm-hmm. um the slay queen role i play is a story i think i want to tell okay we are in the modern world of slay queens mm-hmm. and socialites yeah and our young girls are really looking up to socialites but we don't really tell the real story of what they go through yeah which is hardly real yes mm-hmm. it's fake it is too fake it's too fake mm-hmm. and so for me that's why i'm saying i don't mind playing this role is because i'm getting to tell the story of a socialite called maria mm-hmm. who is living a fake life yeah who just her, her world revolves around mubabas mm-hmm. and if the mubaba lets go you're done you are completely done. Mm-hmm. And so I think just playing this role and telling these stories is good for those young girls to realize yeah. you need to be independent. You mm-hmm. need to have something of your own. Do not rely on this man. Yeah. You cannot be waking up and breakfast is upon his wallet. Mm-hmm. If you need to go to Diana, it's what he decides. What you when eat. De- when mm, he decides and what how. What you do exactly and how you do it is upon yeah. that Mubaba. Mm-hmm. That's not right. And for me, it's telling that story. And well, I don't mind it. Mm-hmm. Um, does it is it a curveball for, for me as an actor? It is because I want to play leadership roles. Yeah. I want to play motherly roles. Even the geeky role Even that you, geeky you auditioned one. for. Yes, I would want to. So um let's see what the future holds. Yeah. And um I'll, hmm. well if another slay queen will come agents, in agents, please. <laughs> geeky geeky leader, leadership, mother, mother, mm, friend, supportive mm-hmm. friend, I don't know, wife, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward, looking forward. Let's talk single Kiasi. Mm-hmm. Billboards, as we said, Ooh, everywhere. We are everywhere. Yeah. What's the feedback <laughs> so far? Oh, a hundred percent positive. We have been number one on Showmax trending, Showmax Kenya, for the last five weeks. Yes, since yes. since the since premiere. The premiere. Yeah. yeah, we've been number one. Mm-hmm. So let me tell you why, and let me tell you what our audience. <clears throat> so our audience are a lot. A lot. Okay, I can say seventy percent of our audience uh-huh. are married men. Ah, yes. So they're watching this themselves uh, by <laughs> themselves. So what they do, they wait for their wives to go and sleep, mm-hmm. 
and they are secretly watching. Mm-hmm. So to uh, shout out to all married men watching single Kiasi. Uh-huh. And also we have a good percentage of women who really relate to yeah. each and every character. character. Yeah. We have a mm-hmm. woman Cynthia May, the character played by Gadoni. Mm-hmm. She is a woman who the modern woman. Aki boyo this story it makes my 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 stomach tremble. Why? Because I have a friend who who was in a marriage like this actually my yeah. best best friend yeah. you you're in a marriage with someone who you really love yeah you you wake up one morning together mm-hmm. you, everything is fine and in the afternoon he's wedding another woman oh no yes oh no yes and this is like a story. second wife or the other woman knows It's as they are the fast you don't and know, the only. you do not know another woman is, is has ever been existing And that other woman is in Ushago and has kids of her own and now you need to marry her because again you're very infertile and this is an issue your husband has never expressed he's never told you I have plan B somewhere if you don't give me kids by this this age oh, no. Yes and this is a story that a lot of women in Nairobi are going through right now let's just be honest yeah. let's be honest mm-hmm. we have Becca who is in a marriage and everything is going oh boom boom boom, boom. there's so many bumpy bump, the, the road is bumpy and yeah. your husband Hana Kazi mm-hmm. covid happened and he gets himself a what Aka, a sugar mommy to finance mm, your lifestyle imagine, to finance you and to finance yeah. your children and then you come Yani listen this is real life kanairo we are giving you real life kanairo <laughs> big bedroom manenos yes everything <laughs> and we are not letting even those sexy scenes we are giving it to you we are not censoring yeah. anything but the pg 18 12 parents <laughs> please <laughs> uh you've just talked about the sex scenes mm. how do you prepare yourself when you're told uh umona script mm. today no, is the no. day i'm an next week you're doing this how do you prepare yourself in terms of Mm. what you're thinking in mind even even body wise mm. cuz they're not so much comfy yeah, scenes yeah they're not especially if maybe the person you're acting with is not cooperating mm-hmm. it's hard mm-hmm. listen uh, mentally you have to be well prepared for me uh, even when you're signing on the contract this is what i tell actors know what the job what the job is about not the jd the job description mm-hmm. am i going to have ask those questions will i have sex scenes mm-hmm. will i be kissing anyone yeah. now when you when now you're signing the contract from onset you understand that i'm going to be having a sex scene so mentally you're already prepared yeah so when yeah. you see a scene where you're doing abc mm-hmm. you'll know and you're well prepared right yeah physically mm-hmm. i mean just be fresh be clean mm-hmm. when for the other party mm-hmm. um this is give this is what i say as an actor give your body the freedom to do what it shall do naturally yeah if it's a sex scene don't overthink it you're thinking let me tighten my stomach no. pull pull my neck Mm-mm. so that i look nice your and then body. you end up look Mm-mm. very give uncomfortable body. exactly <laughs> you look like you are straining yeah. give your body the freedom give your body the freedom mm-hmm. it will just go it will just work itself out i mean if you've done this naturally before mm-hmm. it will just work out yeah. yes okay ah yeah. what's the most challenging thing you about playing the role of maria oh yeah so mm-hmm. maria has a very dirty dirty past <laughs> a secretive one no spoilers but it mm-hmm. is so dirty and it's broken mm mm-hmm. And actually I have a we have a younger Mariah. Okay. The younger me mm-hmm. playing that role because this is something that happened to me when I was in my teenage years. Yeah. yeah. So actually when seeing my younger my younger self playing that role I was like wow this girl is very talented. Mm-hmm. So playing that role for me was so hard. It was mm-hmm. so so hard. Like I've never had to play this ever as an actor. This was so challenging for me. Mm-hmm. This is something that my my director was telling me is even in the justice system yeah it is not yet well in law that and women get that much support mm-hmm. so i had to really play it out for these women mm-hmm. okay it was hard oh, it was so hard and so that was at the draining and mm-hmm. draining um listen i we was we started shooting t- i mean single kiasi in november and i told them i need a whole like two weeks to just please 
think about this, get the energy right, mentally prepared. So they had to wait until now we, the new years yeah. for them to now put my sins on the call sheet. Because I re- it was a lot <sighs> mental. You need to adapt. You to guys this. need to see that sin so that you understand. You understand the energy mm-hmm. and the depth mm-hmm. of Mariah, even as a person. She has yeah. so much. Oh, her past is so broken. It's bad. It's ugly. And just giving it to to you guys, and I wanted the audience to understand. This is why Mariah is so defensive. Mm-hmm. This is why Mariah is so insecure yeah. because this happened to her. Mm-hmm. So I needed to channel a lot of energy for that. Mm. So derolling from that, how mm. was that situation? Since you had to take time to get into that particular character, then now coming out of that mm. past, was it as heavy? It was heavy. Mm-hmm. It was heavy. And I needed a lot of silent moments. I used to call my husband and be like, I'm totally Lala because okay, I don't want to come to see his noise. Mm-hmm. Not today. And needed a lot of silent moments for that. So... um. It took about three days to derail from that, honestly, honestly, because it was a lot of. I don't want to spoil this. Do, you can't spoil this. This is something <laughs> even as a human being, I cannot do. It's immoral uh-huh. to do it, so I sort of do it on the show. I had to and watch um, a scene from some movie. I will say which one mm-hmm. because now I'll spoil. Mm-hmm. And I had to understand. I, I needed to see that character and see myself in that character and be like, "How did he pull that? Mm-hmm. How do you? How do you do something that even as a whole human being you cannot do? But here you are as a character playing it. How can I channel that? Mm-hmm. How can I be so unjust? How can you know such thoughts? And <laughs> I needed a lot of silent moments. Uh-huh. A whole three days for that. Where? Yeah. Acting. At a set, guys were not talking to me. I was like, director, please. Keep, keep. People should just keep off me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hi. A decade. Uh, we've, we've talked earlier and said Tabasamo was 13 years ago. Mm-hmm. Now, a decade later, you're back with single Kiasi. Mm. What have you noticed? The industry has improved? Mm. Has it changed? Mm. What are you seeing now? Mm. The industry has definitely improved. Even the quality of production that we are putting out there Mm -hmm. literally has immensely improved, 100%. Mm -hmm. Um, The stories that we are telling, Mm -hmm. we're not shying away from telling real-life stories that happen in our Kanairo. We are not trying to give you New York and you're in Nairobi. We're not trying to go to South Africa and Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We are giving real-life stories. So the authenticity of our stories is 100% something I approve and something that we have improved even in our industry. Mm-hmm. production wise we are giving quality quality yeah this is something that you see south africans are doing mm-hmm. and we are doing it here and guys actually love single kiasi because of the quality yes quality premium we are not trying to do shoddy work here we are serious about our craft mm-hmm. yes so we have really improved a hundred and one percent playing this uh scandalous role crystal mariah what would you advise young girls going through hard times like the ones you went through mm-hmm. and they're thinking, ah, kukua apa hivi socialite mm-hmm. is the easier way out. Because the socialites, wacha tuwache mungu wa seva wa. But this, these guys who are going through tough times now, what would you advise them? This is what I say. You have to have a source. Mm-hmm. Even when you live your life, there's a source to everything that you do. You wake up mm-hmm. because you have a source of energy. You're, you're, you're getting your energy from a certain source or yeah. from a mentor of someone. Mm-hmm. So these socialites, I'm sure their mentors are Kina Beyonce, right? Mm-hmm. Akina Kadi B. Do they mm-hmm. see the kind of work and effort Beyonce puts? More than 110%. Do they see what Kadi B, the effort Kadi B puts? So if you, if just mentor, to get that lifestyle. Mm, just to get mm-hmm. that lifestyle, you have to put Jay-Z's. I mean, mm-hmm. Beyonce bought Jay-Z a whole jet. Jay-Z is here. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. you, your Mubaba is giving you mm-hmm. this lifestyle. What can mm-hmm. you give your Mubaba? Nothing. That's, that's the exactly. big question. So that's it. Mm-hmm. All these young girls who want to be socialites and want to chase clout and they're always on the gram and they have no true identity of and purpose of who they are, mm-hmm. that is wrong. Beyonce knows, knows exactly who she is. She started yeah. doing this thing when she was 17. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. She's passionate about something. Mm-hmm. Something is bringing income to her life. She, she they, they, at Jay-Z, Kim Wacha, Beyonce will be Beyonce. Let's yeah. just be honest. And I think we the mistakes we women make mm. is not seeing the journey. Yeah, we don't We want just want the destination mm. pap which which doesn't make sense. This is what I say again. You can't cheat the craft. You can't. You can't cheat the hustle. No. <laughs> Hi my god. <laughs> you cannot. And then again, kuna Mungu. God you wanna yeah. you yo effort uliweka Mungu aliona hizo effort ni kuaneka huko mlolongo yeah. atasema ai this one um mtoto wangu ah, ameteseka sana wacha nimpatie Kenya nataka mm-hmm. so as a socialite as a slay queen please find your purpose your purpose mm-hmm. cannot be slaying you no. you cannot be born to slay no you have to have a purpose <laughs> what do you do are you a journalist are you a business person are you a makeup artist find something that people can and there's so much respect women are given when they have something of their own when yeah. you have your own backbone mm-hmm. you're given so much respect in the society your backbone cannot be posting pictures naked on the gram people mm-hmm. will disrespect you for that people want to use you for that yeah. you know mm-hmm. so for the girls who are watching this listening to this please find your purpose in this life it cannot be posting pictures on the gram no I hope Miss Kia. Let's get and make a scene. <laughs> <laughs> Can they please? 